Hello everyone, happy Monday, uh, 15th of January, 2024. Hope you're all well. Apparently today is Blue Monday. I guess it's halfway through January and it already feels like a long month for some of us. Um, but I guess it's just a marketing uh, ploy, um, maybe to promote holidays or something like that, I don't know. But I hope that you're not feeling blue and I hope that you're still feeling the lovely energy of the new moon which happened last week and that you're starting to get some clarity about what you want to do next um, if that's something that you're looking for. Um, so I'm here with the channeled energies of the week um, which I will begin in a moment. Um, to give you an idea of what um, to expect in the next week. Um, also to say, um, I'm really excited about this. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to teach it again live, but um, I've been guided by my guides to, to run, learn to channel consciously again. I've taught it three times now live and it's been brilliant each time. Um, very happy um, students who then become very um, adept channelers. So if that's something that you're interested in, I know I've had a few inquiries um, since I last ran it in May last year. So I'm going to start uh, it's going to start on the 22nd of February. Um, it's all on Zoom, 8pm on a Thursday. It runs for six weeks. Um, it's going to be on early bird price until the 1st of February. So it's currently £222. I've put the link above the video. Um, if you're in interested, then jump on board. They, places tend to fill up pretty quickly um, and then the price will go up to 333 so uh, get in there and you know if you can't ever attend one of the um, calls live then there always will be a replay which you can catch up on and there'll be a private Facebook group where there's a lot going on as well so I hope to see you there if that's something that you're interested in it's certainly great to be able to consciously channel your guides um, so that you've got a set of cheerleaders ready and available and willing to cheer you on and guide you. Right, so this week, um, so I was talking at the beginning about, you know, this being Blue Monday and there is this general feeling of some of you, some of us, feeling like maybe we don't have everything that we want and we you know there can be a tendency to dwell on um what we don't have um and the energies are suggesting or the universe is suggesting that we concentrate instead of looking at it that way can we can we look at what we do have and appreciate that and also if we don't have what we want what can we do about it all the energies are there to support us to make our plans and um to put our aligned action together okay it's also about claiming reclaiming your inner power you know you're sovereign you have a great inner power with your intuition um and your own discernment and sometimes you forget that so let's bring my guides in and um see what they've got to say So hello everyone, it's a pleasure to be here again today. Um, right, so this is your kind of forecast, your energy forecast, um, letting you know what universal energies are likely to be at play this week um, so that you know uh, why you might be feeling a certain way and, you know, so you can navigate those energies. So um this is a really great week to reclaim your inner power, actually, as Owen was saying. So you may well be feeling a bit reflective this week. We know that January can be a hard month for most, for a lot of you. 
And there's a lot of pressure in January, isn't there, to have, you know, intentions, um, New Year's resolutions and all the rest of it. Um, but actually, every day is a new day, you know. So and January, as we said, we think we said this last week, it's sort of a month where you're still clearing up, if you like, you're still finishing the energy of the year before um, because the new year really doesn't start till February when you have embolic. So don't worry too much, okay? Um, so if you're just feeling a little bit, you know, why aren't I any further forward? Maybe you're not feeling that motivated. Um, you know, don't worry, be kind to yourselves. You know, it's enough that you are who you are, to be quite honest. So um, being reflective is fine as well because it may well be that you're trying to make decisions about maybe what it is you don't want to do this year or this month or next month, All right? So that's okay. Um, it is a really good week for connecting to your intuition, for connecting to your guides and angels. There's a great feeling of introspection, but when we mean introspection, we really mean sort of being with yourself. What, what is yourself trying to tell you? What is your higher self trying to tell you? What are your guides trying, trying to tell you, right? You have a lot of inner power. You each do. It's just sometimes you give it away. You might give it away um, quite simply by listening to other people's opinions and, you know, going along with those, even if they don't really resonate with you or if they're not really in alignment with your values. Um, there may be a family member you feel that you have to, um, or not that you have to, that, that is putting pressure on you to behave in a certain way. Or it may well be that, quite frankly, if you're watching the news on the television or reading about it, it can be quite upsetting. And that deflates you, right? What we want you to remember is, yes, of course, it's important to be cognizant and to be aware of what's going on in the, in the world around you. And of course, there's lots of things going on at the moment that are tricky to hear about. But we don't want that to pull you away from you, from what you're here to do, from you being the best you can be. Because the more that you focus on yourselves, the more that you really sit with your power and then take action, um, the more you're lighting up the world. And eventually, you know, eventually all this light that you're bringing in will have a ripple effect in the world and hopefully the news will get better. But that's if, of course, those that run the news wish us to hear the good news and not just all the bad news that's around, okay? Do you understand? We hope that you do. Um, but on a very sort of um, maybe mac micro level, um, Yes, you could be feeling things aren't quite where you want them, um, not really looking at the positive. So we would ask you just to have a bit of a mind shift here if you can, mindset shift. How can you look at the positive a bit more, actually what you do have, knowing that you've got the key to open all the doors that you need to be open, that need to be open for you. You've got that ability, most definitely, and you're very supported by the cosmos this week all right so don't um you know be nice to yourself don't um let your power be taken by others or by situations just know that what feels right for you is right for you spend some time this week in meditation you will know, you will get the clarity you need as the week goes on. Um, that is coming in. If you decide this is the week that you're going to just listen to yourself um, and stay in your own lane. All right. So we wish you all the very best and we hope you have a wonderful week. All right. So I hope that um, made sense to you. Um, it is all about reclaiming your personal power this week. 
Um, and also being a bit more direct about what it is you do want, even if, and that could be even being more direct with yourself, if that makes sense. Because sometimes we can tell ourselves stories, can't we, to keep ourselves um, stuck. Okay, so I hope you have um, an amazing week. Um, don't forget about my Spirit Guide hotline as well, if you want some extra clarity. Um, that's open for business and can be really, really helpful um, in areas of your life where you want some greater guidance and clarity. And as I said at the beginning, if you're interested in learning to channel yourself, then my course starts again on the 22nd of February. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.